by a player in his eighth year in the NFL. He was the league MVP last year, the MVP of the Super Bowl in 2010, two-time Pro Bowl selection, and coming off a huge game in a win over the Rams. The Packers are now 4-3. and three. Aaron Rodgers joins us. Aaron, nice to have you back. How are you? I'm doing good, Jim. Thank you. Good. I'm back to good. follow, though. Yeah, let me ask you that. I mean, are you, are you watching that very carefully? And what do you think about what you've seen so far? I think every NFL player is is, uh, is watching that and paying attention to it. I mean, it's something that uh, you know has really captured the headlines for the last uh, the last few months. Um, you know, it's interesting the whole process that's gone on. Uh, yeah, as a, as a fellow player, you're happy to see uh, Jonathan get back on the field and, and do you know what he loves to do. Um, and I think we're all interested in seeing what the process, how it's going to play out. Aaron, one more thought about that. In terms of the process, in your opinion, how do you think the commissioner has done in handling that process? Mm, I, don't, I don't, you know, I think there's always three sides to every story, and uh, kind of the approach I take to most things, and it just depends on whose side is closer to what's really going on. And I don't know that we have all the facts uh, in the case on, on either side, and um, hopefully the appeals process with. Uh, Former Commissioner Tagliabue will be uh, will be one that everybody's satisfied with. Actually, I've got one more thought on that. You know, in terms of the game itself, do you think that he always acts in the best interest of the game and tries to make the game safer, or could the commissioner himself even have his own agenda? Mm, I think that for the most part, that I think he's done uh, he's done what's in the best interest of the game as far as the on the field uh, player safety conduct. Aaron Rodgers joining us. Aaron, you had a big game against the Rams yesterday. You completed 20 of your first 22 passes. You ended up with better than 80% completions on the day. I mean, you were really feeling it. Do you feel like you kind of found a spot and you've dialed it up, or essentially are you doing what you expect to do pretty much every single week? Well, I think we've got a little rhythm on offense now, and, and we're figuring out how to best use the guys we got on the field. You know, we've had some injuries, um, and some guys go down that, that we expected to play some big roles for us, but... Uh, you know, James Jones has, has had a real good start to the season. Randall Cobb each week uh, gets better and makes plays for us. And, and we're getting the ball to Jordy Nelson a little more consistently now, which uh, has always been a good thing for this offense. So we're just kind of finding our rhythm a little bit, and the defense is is, uh, is playing better as well. Aaron Rodgers, my guest, you know, after you lit up the Texans, you hit the critics with a shh, and that was after that game. You know, is that essentially, was that the point that you were trying to make, or was there a whole lot more you wanted to say but just couldn't get to in that certain forum? Uh, the, the the interview at that point was long enough. I, I was just trying to end it, uh, and and that was uh, actually very spontaneous, not planned at all, and just kind of first thing that came to my mind. Um, but you know, there's a lot of a lot of talk from uh, various various critics, and I uh, you know we appreciate that because it brings us together, and you know we uh, we came together that week against the Texans and, and came out with a big win and got some momentum, and we went down to St. Louis. A team that's playing really well with a good defense and plays really well at home and and got a big tough win yesterday. So we're uh, excited about the direction we're going and and we appreciate all the criticism from the from those people. Hey, look, I'm sure it was spontaneous. I know you didn't plan that. I thought it was pretty powerful in the end. But I mean, you understand it's 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 all about what have you done for us lately. You know how this world works. You know how that league works. But in terms of the criticism, you think some of it was unjustified and just not fair? Of course. Give me an example. Look at my stats from the first five weeks. Um, look at the situations that we were in. Um, you know, that's uh, it's. You know, how do I go from where I was at then to two weeks later, and and you know, where are those people now? What are they saying now? Do you see anything? Do you hear anything now? I mean, and do me a favor, answer your own question. Where are those people now? Do you see them? No, I don't see them. I didn't see them before. You said, what do you make of that, Aaron? I mean, just. People, haters be hating? People need a reason? Or do you think that you guys are singled out for whatever reason? I think that there's, for whatever reason, that people want to see want to see us uh, fail for you know, various various reasons, whether it's they don't like me or don't like Mike or don't like our team or don't like the fact we don't have an owner or that we went 15-1 last year, we won the Super Bowl the year before, or that we do things the right way and don't have a lot of distractions and they want to create stuff. You know, regardless of what the what the reasons are, there's there's, uh, there's I think there's people, you know, Looking forward to us slipping up and then trying to jump on top of us. We're talking to Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers. You know, Aaron, it's always said that you can't play angry. Nobody can play angry. It's not a good way to go. I mean, is there something to that? Or or certainly it's going to sharpen your focus and you might prepare differently. Can you play effectively angry? I mean, uh, regardless of what was said on TV, I was never angry in any production meeting or playing angry. Uh, focused is a lot, a lot better word and a word that doesn't have the same type of definition as angry. So. 
Uh, I was focused for the Texans game. Uh, the urgency and the team was up. Uh, the understanding that we needed to play our best football, I think, was on everybody's mind, and, and we did. And we came back uh, yesterday uh, on the road again, knowing uh, what it takes to win on the road. And we had another focused effort and, and had a big second half and made some big drives late in the game to finish that game off. So it's, it's, a, it's a state of mind. It's not, uh, not an attitude. You know, for a minute, I forgot you were on the road watching that game yesterday. I mean, it's one thing to get cheers, but to have the folks on the road boo certain calls. I understand that St. Louis isn't all that far away, and you guys do travel pretty well, and there are Packer fans everywhere. But for a moment, I almost forgot that was a, an away game. Yeah, it was incredible. I mean, we've uh, we've been in some hostile environments before, and we've been in some places where there's a lot of Packer fans. But this was perhaps, uh, you know, the only thing that, that can compare was San Diego last year. We went down there. And uh, on the last drive, we're up by seven, Phillips bringing them back. And, and they had to use silent count at home um, because our fans are so loud. I mean, that was the only thing they can kind of compare to yesterday. Because yesterday was, was a lot of Packer fans, and, and we're very thankful for them and the way they travel and the way they show up. I mean, I think there's just Packer fans everywhere, but they definitely, uh, they definitely do travel well. So, Aaron, what do you do on a Monday night? You've got the Bears and Lions, and you've got a game that's going to have a great impact on that division. Obviously, it's going to affect you indirectly. I mean, on a night like tonight, is that your night, and do you do your own thing, or will you settle in and watch that game? That's a, it's a great night of TV. I mean, you got the Monday night football. You have uh, the last presidential debate. You have game seven. you got the Giants and Cardinals. you got Monday night Raw. I mean, it's a big night of TV. Aaron, do you find the debates interesting, entertaining? Do you kind of break it down tactically? What do you think about when you watch those debates? I just, uh, you know, I think you have to understand the context of some of those questions and and uh, some of the, and how the responses will be uh, formulated. But uh, I do find it interesting. I think it's uh, you know an important time in our country and interesting to hear the perspectives from both the candidates. And finally, as an athlete whose opinion matters on certain things, I mean, do you do you want to express an opinion on something like that, or do you want to steer clear, stay as far away from that as possible, thinking they don't care what I have to say about that, or I know that no matter what I say, half the world's going to be really unhappy, so I'm going to keep my mouth shut? I think probably both of the last things you said. I don't think anybody really cares about my opinion on politics, and uh, there's no sense in uh, alienating anybody that doesn't have the same type of opinion. Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers coming in. Aaron, great to run you down. Appreciate your thoughts, as always. Thanks, buddy. Take care. Aaron, you too. Good talking to you.